Now that we have studied both the mesh analysis and nodal analysis, we will briefly compare the two. So, when to use one versus the other? That is the main question. And I did not consider the general loop analysis, I only took mesh analysis which is loop analysis for the special case of planar circuits, but these comments apply to loop analysis as well. In general, my personal preference is for nodal analysis. This is because typically, first of all, it is very easy to identify nodes. Okay, So, you know that you have a circuit with n nodes and they are all right there for you to see. right? Whereas, it is a little more complicated to identify loops which are independent. Okay. Now, another thing to consider is which case gives you fewer equations. Now, of course, you cannot make a general statement about this. If you have a bunch of nodes and you have components connecting between every node and every other node, then obviously, there are a lot fewer nodal equations than uh, there are loop equations. Okay, But of course, you do not have such an extreme case either. Now, the other extreme case is you just have one component between uh, these two pairs of nodes, another component and so on. So, your n node circuit consists of only n components, that is there is a single loop. Obviously, in that case, loop analysis wins out, you have a single loop and the same current flowing through every component in the loop. Now, all real circuits will lie somewhere in between, but by and large, uh, I think you will end up with uh, fewer equations with nodal analysis. So, that is why uh, nodal analysis is preferred as well. But uh, the main reason is that uh, it is lot easier to systematically identify the nodes and write down the equations. Now, one case where especially for hand analysis, this uh, mesh analysis may be more useful is that you visibly see that there are a small number of loops, uh, but each loop has a number of components in series. Okay. So, in that case, it is uh, easier to do uh, mesh analysis or loop analysis compared to nodal analysis. But by and large, nodal analysis is what is uh, normally used and it is also used in uh, circuit simulators. Okay. So, this is what is used most of the time. So, that is just for comparison. Of course, for hand analysis of circuits, I suggest that uh, you try both or at the very least, when a circuit is given to you, you consider both nodal analysis and mesh analysis and see the implications on the number of equations you have to write. At least that way, you will have a, a good idea of uh, what is involved in carrying out either of them. And after you get enough practice, you can just pick one and move on. Okay. Anyway, hand analysis is carried out only for uh, small circuits. Okay.